Hello? Hello? Bop. Bop. <laughs> Hello? Uh. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Uh, I see we're already hype training. A thing that always seems to happen. So thank you. <laughs> So many, so many subs. Um, how many do we have? Okay, I can read most of these. Okay, thank you, T Dragon Forty Five and Clara Dactyl and Kling Mama and Al Greta and Junior Muffin and thank you, Sleepy Sea Slug, for gifting a sub and thank you stinky lizard five and pineapple skulls and thank you bam it's ham for gifting and thank you dead by dawn zero zero for subbing how's everyone doing today me do i sound like i'm in pain <laughs> guess who slept in an odd position apparently two nights ago and i'm still recovering <laughs> oh Thank you, Holy Smo97, for giving out five subs. And also thank you, Eric Fuhrer and the True Frenchie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm 27, so now I can't sleep with my neck slightly wrong or else I'm going to have a pain like no other right at the base of my neck so i'm sorry if at any point during the stream i have a moment where i look like i'm gonna black out because if i move my neck shoulders or spine in just the wrong way oh boy but it's okay <laughs> oh wow thank you cling mama for five more giving out five subs and thank you sakano michi and kayabi and thank you, Rex Nem Nemines, for gifting a sub. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Green ties on live stream. Maybe we'll see. Um, this is this is how I feel, but it's okay. So I thought I'd give doing a color stream another shot. I I can only do two kinds of art streams. Either we draw appendages for two hours or I try to color something real quick and dirty but um remember that thing I did last week <laughs> I didn't do anything with it I threw it out so <laughs> uh I did I did start this last night so I guess we can work on this <laughs> um but yeah So luckily there's not going to be a lot of flatting in this one. So maybe I can even do a little shading. That'd be pretty cool. We'll see. Um, I actually almost forgot. I tweeted like, see you guys at three. I'll be streaming. And then immediately forgot what time I was streaming. So um, I did. Okay, cool. I've messed up my. <laughs> Aha. I, I almost missed the stream is what I'm saying because <laughs> I was just trying really hard to um, get this at least flatted in, but nah, nah. <laughs> uh, who did I miss? Pixelily gave out a sub. Thank you. And thank you. Manisma94 and Loki of Yorkshire. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, so this is this is one of my thingies that I started in Procreate. Um, I've never actually colored a painter-y kind of thing like this in Photoshop yet, so maybe I'll learn something today. Who knows? If I can even come close to finishing for once, that'd be really great. So... <laughs> pop a squat and hang out and work with me maybe I don't know there's a fly in here because I'm never free 
I'm just I'm just not one of God's favorites, especially not this week. <laughs> uh, thank you guys. Uh, and thank you, Mega Shank, for subbing. And thank you, Cospunk Prince, for giving out a sub. And thank you, Soul Powers. And Miss Michelle. And Bear Cub ET. And King Knee 128 for subbing. Thank you. <laughs> how are you going to color? I, I don't know how I'm going to color this. Um, like I said, I've never actually colored one of these pieces in Photoshop so it'll be a fun adventure but I'm just gonna get some flats in since this isn't nearly as intricate as the Digimon one it shouldn't take me two hours so <laughs> here's hoping when are there gonna be more sub emotes I'm pretty sure that we've um, sent at least two more in for review um, I don't exactly remember but we're still waiting for those to get approved, I think, is all. So they're coming. They will trickle in. It took a while for Draugr's to get approved, so. <laughs> How's my day so far? It's okay. Um, my back hurts a lot less than it did yesterday, so that's already pretty solid can't complain too much <laughs> oh thank you I always really like rendering in in this way because I find it really <laughs> cathartic <laughs> I personally just like um, bringing up the smudge tool in Procreate why am I stupid um, and just going crazy I really need to make or find a brush that works as smoothly as the smudge tool in Procreate because that that brush and procreate just unlocks my serotonin and just, just flow in like waterfalls <laughs> da, da. yeah oh thank you snake girl 3434 <laughs> Why are we talking about Willie? What's up with Willie? Oh, I know we like to talk about like digital art stuff in in this stream from to week to week, so for those who need to hear this, uh, Clip Studio Paint is on sale right now. Fly in my fucking face. So yeah, it's $25 for Clip Studio Paint right now if anyone wants to check that out. Just so you know. Do, 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 do. Oh, living is suffering. <laughs> Does this person have a name? This is Schmidt. From the Handsome Man episode designed by Julia and also from Hawkeye P.I. That comic thing I did. <laughs> Whenever that was. Uh, everything's so soft. I never... I never know. I never know with you, buddy. Uh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
what kind of tablet do I use? Right now I have the Cintiq, the 22 inch Cintiq, blah, blah, blah. Big Cintiq, it's an older model. Um, adopted it from work. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, for this piece, I started it in Procreate on the iPad. I really like drawing on my iPad, especially when my back hurts and I just spend all day laying on top of a heating pad. <laughs> what color is basil from Draw Feli? Basil, basil, I already forgot. Ah, uh, I mean, she, she doesn't have like an official color scheme. <laughs> Um, I said Halloween colors, and I like to see what people do with that information, so is that an unhelpful answer? <laughs> is that the most, I'm sorry about that, unhelpful answer? <laughs> Where do your teeth stop and where does your tongue begin? What's my favorite color? Maroon. I like that color. It's nice and it's versatile. Huh? Um, have I thought about drawing Joey and Chandler on stream? Maybe. I mean, I don't think much ahead of time about what I'm ever going to do on these streams. It's mostly just, oh, if I want to do, oh, god damn it, whatever. It's stupid of me to try and separate this into layers anyway. Um, if I wanted to do like a coloring stream, I just need to start it ahead of time. So I don't know. Drawing is hard. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Did I buy a yellow hoodie yet? No, I didn't go anywhere this year. Um, at least not anywhere that requires a yellow hoodie. So I haven't been buying clothes because what's the point? <laughs> oh, this looks poo poo. Photoshop, why can't you have a nice smudge tool? What do your smudge tools look like? Look like garbage. Hmm. Nope. Okay, I could work with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a cousin that majored in art and gave you the same answer um, when you asked the favorite color maroon. Good color. Goes with everything. Hard to mess that up. Oh, uh, why does this look... Procreate smudge tool would never be this difficult right off the bat. Damn. Damn. Whatever. You're gonna have a weird hairline, buddy. Because I didn't plan ahead. <laughs> I could have just finished this and started the stream late. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that I was streaming at 4 p.m., but... Um, what kind of cake do I like? Uh, tiramisu. Oh, why does this look... Okay, okay. Now I get it. Stupid brush, stupid Photoshop. Whatever. Hmm. There's a program that lets you mirror your iPad to your computer so that you can put it on OBS. Uh, I mean, believe it or not, I don't stream much, especially outside of Drawfee. So I was giving some thought into seeing if I could 
have uh, Procreate run through OBS, but again, I don't usually plan my streams very far ahead of time, so it is it is a thought, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> oh, well. does cost money but there's a free trial noted thank you so much looking ah uh. <laughs> hello anyone hopping into the stream it's me Karina with the back pain just coloring we're just coloring together I really miss hanging out with people and just doing art together so this is kind of like that in my mind <laughs> join me won't you did I color that in weird whatever it doesn't matter nothing really matters what happened to Hawkeye PI anyway? There's only three issues on Webtoon. Um, it's a long and complicated story, but I plan on continuing it. Um, I just haven't had quite the time. I've been busy with many a thing. And yeah, but in due time. It's my favorite thing that Nathan, Julia, and Jacob drew on Drawfee. That's hard because there's so many. And a lot of them I never actually saw because I, I haven't seen all the episodes. That's difficult. I'll have to think about it because there's so much I'd have to like <laughs> remember in order to answer that question. Will I be dropping any new Hawkeye PI lore, like in the comic or in general? I'm always physically stopping myself from dropping new lore because I would want it to be revealed in narrative, but, <laughs> but that would mean I'd have to actually do it. And I've been so busy. Yeah, if anyone's seen every episode on Drawfee Cam, it's Nathan, maybe. Do I speak any other languages? No. <laughs> what happened to the spirit of good drawing? Uh, the spirit of good art's drawing from the sleepover episode. That's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> went down at the end of last year and the start of this year and there's a lot of things that just kind of got lost in the shuffle and maybe that was one of them so it's it's maybe somewhere I don't know <laughs> I never thought about that I liked that one 
Okay. Nice. Um, fill in your brows, sweetie. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna switch back. Uh, have I gone to art school? Yes, I went to art college and graduated, so. Um, difficult to answer questions about art school, especially in the current year, but feel free to shoot. And I'll give it my best shot. Uh, thank you, Tamaria101. I'm sorry I convinced you to start Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sorry to everyone who got started watching Yu-Gi-Oh because of me. I'm going to carry that burden for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, worth it? Why or why not? I'm going to assume that's an art school question. Um, again, always difficult to answer school, uh, questions about art school, weird topic. In my opinion, it depends. Um, a lot of art school is just getting out of it, what you put into it. And it is very expensive. And, you know, for full disclosure, my parents, um, paid for my education and I also applied for a ton of scholarships. So, um, about half of my tuition was covered by scholarship and it's super expensive. And if you're not like in a financial position where that's really doable for you, I can't promise that it's worth it. Um, Cause <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kazi says it's Kazi Kazi. I can't remember from day to day, but yeah, it's mostly worth it for making connections and stuff like that. Like, uh, I learned a lot in school, but, you know, I also got work because of people I met while in school <laughs> or because I was an alumni of my school. Casey, I'll get it right. Someday I'll remember exactly. But yeah, because for me, was my art school time worth it? Yeah, I think so. I am not the type of person who can really self-motivate all the time. So for me, something like that, you know, I, I got a lot out of it. But I also researched a lot about what classes I was taking, um, et cetera. Uh, and making sure that I was getting an experience that I thought would be, you know, the most useful and suited for me. So I don't know. It's, it depends a lot on your financial situation and what your personality type. Cause I was lucky that I was able to go through art school and not have to worry too hard about the finances. And, um, I got a lot out of it and I met a lot of amazing people and made connections, but you know, on, on the other, on the other hand, um, you know, you don't need art school to do, you know, have a creative career. One of my most successful friends, uh, dropped out cause they didn't need to be in a school <laughs> and it was just costing them money. So they dropped out and now they are incredibly uh, successful. Um, by art school, do you mean art degree or art centric college? I mean, I'm talking from my own experience, which is an art centric college, but um, I'm sure the same kind of applies at least a little bit.
bite marks all of your classes moved online that's the other thing with everything being as it is right now um i'm not sure if art school is even worth it if it's going to just be online because you know you're you're paying to be able to use the um facilities and stuff as well like that's one of the resources you get from you know doing a program like that I don't know what color any of this is going to be I'm just putting it down right now what but yeah I don't know I I don't know <laughs> um. was there a specific class that directly affected your art more than others um just in case people don't know, I was an animation major. And honestly, one of the most influential classes for me were, um, well, specifically was my freshman year uh, drawing class, like a figure drawing class. Um, and those kind of classes in general, like, I, I mean, all of my like actual animation courses and stuff were good as well. Don't get me wrong, but I guess, I guess in the long term, especially given the course of my career, I probably got the most out of my drawing classes. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to be wearing, sweetie. Yay, Charles Bunny. Congration. Anything that you feel like you're weak at artistically, like a lot of things, <laughs> most things. <laughs> trying to think of any specific points and I'm just like no there there's plenty <laughs> decide what to probably gonna change the color of this maybe I'll just make it maroon a color that goes with everything bap okay this yeah the fun thing especially if you go into like art career is that your your major isn't super pertinent or anything I mean College humor wasn't a studio or anything, but no one knew what my major in college was when I was hired. <laughs> it saves more money to go to a community college and knock out classes for cheap. Yeah, that's when I hear a lot. I will say that the... Um, you know, non-art courses like the humanities I took in college were poo-poo <laughs> garbage. And it got to the point where I was like actively seeking out professors who I knew would teach like real courses because I felt like otherwise I'd be wasting my time because some of them were just like so time wasty <laughs> and easy. I don't know what you're wearing, but I'm going to make it look good one way or another. Huh? What kind of work did I do before college humor? Um, 
the first job I had was at BuzzFeed as essentially an intern. And I was doing just comics, comics for their social media. You might have seen them floating around Facebook or Instagram or something. <laughs> um, I did that for a while. And I also worked uh, at an animation studio doing commercial animation and stuff like that, 2D. Um, mostly doing cleanup, but also, you know, animating. So that was, that was the main two things I did. It's a creature. It's a wolf. Got to figure out these heckin' colors. I didn't give any forethought into, I guess that should maybe be red. I don't know what color the background's going to be. I need to fix everything else first, but that's the colors there flowers oh god do you ever consider becoming an instructor yourself um i i'm not opposed to the idea i think it would be very cool to be in a mentorship position i think that's really neat but um i don't know everything fucking scares me I did, one of my friends uh, teaches, and he had me do a talk for uh, this after-school class that he does, and I was so nervous about it, even though it was just a bunch of high schoolers. I was so freaked out about it. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> you get to test it out on the draw class streams. That's true. I'm also very nervous about draw class. <laughs> Um, I still need to figure out what to do for my draw class stream. Why is this not hello? Um, teaching is great, but intense. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like a lot of people I know have gone on to become teachers and I'm just like, y'all are the real ones, <laughs> the true heroes. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle teaching, but it does appeal to me on the level that I think it's really cool to connect with, especially in terms of art, younger artists. I think that's awesome, and I think it's an important thing to do. I don't know what I'm doing with this piece. I sure didn't think it through. I'm actually going to try some shit out. Uh, let's, let's tint this boy. Interesting. <laughs> um, There's some sort of setting that makes me get close to the line without coloring over it. No. <laughs> it's the precision of my hand, apparently. <laughs> um. For recreational artists, any advice on how to explore? Um... Mostly just try new things. I feel like, I mean, I, I consider myself, I, I do art professionally, but it's also just something I've always done for fun. And I feel like something I don't get to do as much anymore, but has always been super cool to do is just work in different mediums, draw in a really weird style that I'm not used to. I spent a lot of time in high school trying really hard to do like realism and um, it turned out horribly, but it got me where I was today, stylistically. So that was really cool. Um, I haven't been reading heckin' subs. Footchy Cat, thank you for giving out five subs. Uh, thank you, Nerps and Death Tone Anima for subbing. Uh, thank you, Invidalord. And... Uh, 
Seymour47, who sent a message that I missed. I'm so sorry. Um, but um, thank you, Shadow Wolf 806 and Hawk Hunting and Hugh Hoist and Mega Shank. I think that's everyone. And this gets cut off, but Karina, was the drawing you were fixing last week your first attempt at the 30 minute challenge? Yes. <laughs> um, technically, I, I had attempted it one more time before that but uh that one i messed up totally so haha <laughs> but um yeah that was my first 30 minute challenge except i took all the color off and just fixed the pose i need to figure out what to do with that because i was going to try and have it cleaned up for this week and color that one but it's just such a weird drawing i like it but it's hard to put into a space <laughs> so i have to keep toying with it but I didn't work very hard on it in the meantime, so, eh. Oh. Is it Sagi here? Sagi! <laughs> Hello! Art supplies are really expensive, yet it blows. Oh God, everything mess, everything mess. <laughs> Oh no, sorry, Bam, it's ham. <laughs> uh, need to figure out what if I don't have you wear khaki for two fucking seconds, Schmidt? Imagine. Imagine that. Okay. Because that's going to be that. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see. Only I could remember anything that I actually do. Oh, cool. Good job, Karina. What am I doing? Blit. What? Maybe. Bruh, maybe. I have to darken the collar if I do this. <laughs> Karina, did you and Julia think Nando and Schmidt would have this much attention from the draw feet community? I mean, initially, I don't know, but I'm certainly not complaining. <laughs> Fly. No, not there. There. Okay, I kind of like the green. I might take out the maroon. Just make it dark. I like that. I love colors. <laughs> yeah. God. Uh, subs, always forgetting. Rage against the binary, little Mavery. Thank you. Um, so I'll be good because then the red of the shirt will, oh, oh yeah, now this is all weird. Hooray. Actually, I shouldn't do this yet. I'll do it later. I'll figure things out. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a fly in my room. 
We've been having so many flies lately because it's summer and it's always just flying around me whenever I'm trying to use my Cintiq. It's <laughs> I get so angry. <laughs> um. How did you come up with the names Nando and Schmidt? Boy, oh boy, you should check out the Drawfee Handsome Man episode. <laughs> or you can watch us do it live <laughs> as it happened. Okay. Uh, do those flowers have meaning or are they just for the aesthetics? They're mostly for the aesthetics. I did pick ones that have a really doofy meaning. So I believe if I drew them correctly, these are red Camillas and that's a uh, fire in my heart. <laughs> uh, you can build a gnat trap by putting apple cider vinegar in a cup. Uh, yeah, we've done that. <laughs> it's been marginally successful, so. Um, okay. Okay. Am I going to do this on? No. No, I won't. Yeah, I'm just hoping they'll go away on their own in time. Either way, one time I got to tell this story because I love roasting my brother when he can't defend himself. But um, my brother likes to be cheap um he's he's a stingy person and one time he found a plant in a dumpster that he wanted to keep so he brought it to my parents house and I was like there it was probably during the summer so I was living there and um yeah it was full of gnats so he just brought a bunch of gnats into my parents house for about a week <laughs> thanks bro Such a style dissonance because I usually do painterly colors for my painterly sketches, but this one is different. How did the Nat story end? They just went away on their own. Um, there were just so many gnats in our, whatchamacallit, in her bathroom. Like they would just hang out on the mirror and it was just like that for a while, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, eventually they just kind of dissipated, so here's hoping. Oh, I didn't smudge this part very well. I did a pretty half-assed job on that. Oh well. Uh <laughs> mm, okay. I'm going to... What is this? This is just an empty layer. Good job, Karina. Let's do a thing. I actually kind of like that as it is, but <laughs> let's let's do a different thing. Uh, what would be a good? I'll just start here. Buggy gnats on their plants. 
We I used to get so many ladybugs in my apartment the first summer I moved here. They need to come back and eat these dang flies. I'm tired of them. What are they, what should I do with you? Should I do something really extreme? Actually, that washes it out completely. Um, well. Nope. Uh, hello, welcome to evil. <laughs> evil. <laughs> There we go. It's as good as that's gonna get. Any cool drawfy secrets when you were still at college humor? Huh? What would look good? Thank you, I sexy. <laughs> Sometimes it be like that. Um, what do I want to do with this lighting scheme? I truly did not plan this out. I never do. I already kind of put a light source when I did the sketch, so I should... What's a... That's a good. Oh, God. Eek. Okay, go back. Pinky hole. I'll fix it later. Whatever. <laughs> that's that's my motto, you know. Oh, I made a mistake. Eh. <laughs> that would be interesting. So it go like do 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 do. That's weird. This is the opposite of what I usually do. So that's odd. Nope. That looks kind of nice. My favorite band. Hmm, musician, band, or either. What's my rendering process like? <laughs> Buddy, you're watching it. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Either. Well, my favorite musician is Frank Turner. Love that guy. Uh, I, I listen to just a very eclectic mix of things, so. Okay, that's kind of nice. Maybe I'll change the shadow. <laughs> I love picking colors. <laughs> Welcome to picking colors, the stream. <laughs> Give him a random nosebleed. You don't need to call me out like this. What's going on in the corner of the drawing? Oh, you know. Oh, that looks weird though. Yeah, this is on a multiply layer. And yeah, I love Frank Turner. Last show I saw live. I've seen him twice. Maybe I'll just make the whole thing warm.
Is that a snake or a tail? It's a tail. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> This is it. This is the process. This is me painstakingly looking at colors <laughs> and thinking about my life. It's just the shadow colors. It doesn't matter that much. Maybe that. This can be a really warm looking piece. I usually mix a lot of warms and cool, but what if I do mostly warm this time? Why does that look like that? What is this? What is this? Oh, is the light basically a skin tone? That's funny. I wonder it looks good. Will we see a Digimon video from you on YouTube? Meh, probably not. I, I still haven't done anything for YouTube in a while, huh? <laughs> it's mostly just doing those things for funsies because, you know, 2020. Um, that's great. Cool. But we'll see. We'll see what happens next. I have to actually sh shoot. Is that, is that how it goes? Is this how it goes? I don't know. <laughs> um. Something like this. I always forget how a face be. Oh god. Oh no. Whatever. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> This looks nice. Okay, okay. I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna actually def refine these colors if I'm not gonna blend them in, but this looks nice. <laughs> I'll keep repeating myself until I believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the best art advice that was given to me? Um, hmm. I kind of hold nearest to me and I think about a lot. Uh, I'll give you two. Bonus value. Uh, the first one was from my 10th grade drawing teacher, Mr. Jennings, um, where he told us that our drawings were like babies and we need to feed the whole baby or else the baby will die. So when you're working on a drawing, you need to be working on the entire drawing. Like you can't just do the face and then everything else is an afterthought or else the whole drawing is going to be a mess. Everything you need to know what you're doing. You need to work throughout the drawing continuously. You got to feed the baby. And um, the other one is from, also from the 10th grade, I believe, <laughs> um, from my woodshop teacher, Mr. Woods, which is his name, and that's not a bit, um, where his advice was, you know, if you see the mistakes in your own drawing, not to point them out to people you don't have to do that because then they'll see the mistakes in your drawing even if they didn't already <laughs> so because one time I started a critique of one of my pieces by saying like oh I messed up here 
And then he's like, well, now I know for sure that you messed up there. And I'm going to really focus in on the fact that you messed up there because you bothered pointing it out. If you didn't point it out, you know, I could have just ignored it. What is this? Nose. Nope. Don't do that, Karina. That looks stupid. Wait, Mr. Woods, the woodshop teacher, was also an artist. I went to an art high school. <laughs> um, so it was like a art woodshop class. And most of my teachers were a former or working artist in the Houston art scene. So great place. I love it. Yeah, art high school. <laughs> art high school for the gays. <laughs> Good times. Mm. Yeah, I should fix this stupid. Why is this just an entire chunk missing out of this? Why am I stupid? <laughs> um by the way thank you dr math dad for gifting a sub and also to steph one two three eight for subbing and le mauve gave out five thank you so much oh god okay <laughs> um and thank you qualitums i think that's everyone Ooh. What software am I using to draw? This is uh, Photoshop CS6. I started this drawing on um, Procreate. <laughs> if, I, if I sound kind of dumb or rambly, it's because my brain is half back pain. Ah, 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 ah. Is this a nice brush? What would be a nice soft brush? I have all these brushes, <laughs> and for what? Um, I don't want to use any of these. What if I did something really weird, like half-toning it? I still need to smooth this out, though. This pocket brush. Sexy Sumi, not soft enough. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. We trans writing in the chat. Boop boop. Trans rights. Um. Okay. I need to. I wonder if I can smudge this a little bit. Other way. No, other way. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pro 
procreate wouldn't be this confusing. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Not Ellie Blake. Same with mine. So when I say art high school, it was still a public school. It was almost comedic. Some of the <laughs> shenanigans that was up with the school in order for it to still meet, you know, requirements. But yeah, it was it was a public school. It just focused on art. So I was I was lucky to have one of those where I lived. So I was able to go. I don't know if I like this. Feck. Feck. No, no. Just leave it like that. <laughs> uh, I'd assume like a magnet school type thing. Yeah, basically. Um, oh, it looks weird though. All of this looks weird. I take it all back. Okay. I'm trying to replicate my own style, but with the different brushes. Actually, I am going to try screen tones because now I want to. Actually, this is probably going to look stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Why are you so big? It's double square small. No, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, kimchi dev, thank you. And also thank you, Origami Zoo and March of Time. <laughs> um, what other nonsense brushes do I have? I only use like three brushes, so this is fun. That's creamy. It's okay. Hello, fly. Well, it's good for blocking it, so I'm just gonna use creamy for now. Is that a sun bear on my shirt? Is it? My mom gave me this shirt. <laughs> I do like the bear. Okay. Do I have... Ooh, creamy variation. Ooh! Maybe. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I was doing with this drawing. I just wanted to get it done. <laughs> this might be nice. I'll work with this for now. Get, get some shenanigans up in here. What were my first impressions of everyone? Honestly, I don't really remember. Um, I met Nathan first. I met him before I ever worked at College Humor. And he was my freelance contact. So he was, I always thought he was super nice. Um, and... I just thought they were all super nice. I think the person I met last was Julia because I technically worked under Jacob for a while when I first started at the office. Um, but it's so long ago. 
I don't remember 2017. That was a really rough year for me. So everything was just kind of a blur. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I just thought they were all nice. Are we going to have guests on the show? Yes. We have so many questions about guests, and it's just like, yeah, be, be patient. Don't worry too hard about it. Okay. This is kind of nice. I don't know what I'm doing with this. <laughs> What's the weirdest way people have spelled your name? I mean, I'm not too going to be too upset about people misspelling my name, but I will say that at my high school graduation, um, my grandma thought it was so funny because they pronounced my name three different ways over the course of the graduation. Um, because the way the family says it is Farrick, so Karina Farrick, and then someone else said it like the Czech way, which is uh, Farek. And then out of nowhere, someone who I've never met before who announced my name said Kareem Farik, which was really funny. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even people in my own family get my name wrong sometimes, so I'm not I'm not going to be annoyed if people get it wrong unless they're trying to criticize me at which point they owe me $10. You know, learn to spell my name if that's how you're going to be. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, apparently my senior year of high school was fraught with cream. Is that weird? Is this is this... I always want to render the teeth, but then it ends up looking weird. Um Light probably doesn't go back that far anyway. We'll do it the opposite way. Actually, I hate all of that. Undo everything. so weird I think that's fine rendering teeth maybe not today <laughs> Thank you, AK, Nicole. I just, I always have the desire to render teeth, but you have to be really uh, intentional with how you do it. So I don't think this is the time. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't a good 
time to do that. Is that, is that weird? I don't know. Starting to draw and procreate on my iPad, but I feel like my lines are weird, and the end of my lines sort of swerve when I pull up my pencil. Um, any advice on drawing better lines? Um, uh, I don't know. Um, I feel like part of it is always just getting used to how it feels to draw on a certain thing, because if you don't have like a screen cover for your iPad it's going to be really slippery which is fine but that's just like a new texture that maybe you have to get used to um, uh, maybe it's the brush you're using I mostly use iPad for sketching and I almost exclusively use the 6B pencil which is one of the uh, brushes that comes with Procreate but um I did kind of fuck the settings up for mine and I can't <laughs> get it back to the way it used to look. So it's like a wet version because like uh, th this was done in with the 6B pencil. So I smudged it a lot, but it kind of looks like this. Thank you, Photoshop. This texture. Um, yeah, but because of that... Uh, I don't know. I, I tend to keep it sketchy when I work in Procreate, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah. If, if you're struggling with the slipperiness of the screen, there are matte screen protectors you can get that do help a lot to give it some tooth. They do uh, it's kind of add texture to your screen so if that bothers you you'll just have to get used to that but it is nice <laughs> you think you're to fly on the mic i will lose my whole ass fucking flies just leave me alone i'm trying to look cool <laughs> Undo, undo. Huh? Okay. What do I do if after hours of trying the colors don't look right? Uh, keep trying or give up. <laughs> you know start over sometimes it's just not gonna work and you need to start over or just trash it that's art sadly um and i don't mean that in a cynical way it's just sometimes sometimes you've overworked a piece and if you can get it back to a workable place that's great but if it's just kind of weird looking and you're not having a good time maybe it's time to start over Have I ever worked with Clip Studio? No, but now that it's on sale again, I think I might buy it and give it a shot. It'd be nice. Would you ever consider selling an art book? I've been doing sketch scenes, um, not every year, but often enough. I I've put out a couple. Um, and one of them I still have copies of that I can sell. I just haven't opened my shop because I've 
so busy and everything's difficult and mailing stuff is difficult. So, <laughs> um, why did I color the ear like that? It looks stupid, but this is, yeah, like, like that I've already done. I don't know. I don't have a lot of finished art in my opinion. So personally, beyond that, don't get your hopes up. I don't know what yours look like. My dark secret. Actually, if the ear's mostly in light, it doesn't really even need that much shading. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> the sketchings IRL or do you do digital versions I have digital versions of some of my zines but not really the sketch scenes they're mostly just compilations of stuff I've already posted online um Danny Alp says that's a hard lesson I've been trying to get around because it feels disappointing to diff a whole lot of work even if it looks weird or bad yeah but like you know, some, again, sometimes you've overworked a piece and it looks weird or it's just not working. It, it sucks, but sometimes it's just self-care to let it go. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just art process, you know. I'll always remind yourself that in current day, you know, the online art community really celebrates, you know, always having work being done, but you know, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be like that. Sometimes you throw out a whole piece and it's self care. Cause otherwise you're just going to keep working it into the ground and maybe you'll just end up more unhappy. Who could win in a fight, Nando or Schmidt? Nando. I don't think Schmidt knows how to fight. <laughs> it depends. It depends what you mean by fight. Um, hmm. Hmm. Does my back feel any better? It feels about the same. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just slept weird and I'm 27. So now my back, maybe I pulled it. <laughs> I've had worse back injuries. It's just, it's just inconvenient more than anything. There was one time because I used to commute into New York and I was running for the bus. And as I hit the bottom of the hill that I lived on, um, my back just like oofed. And then <laughs> I could barely walk for the rest of the day. And that was great. I think I just pulled my whole back <laughs> uh, running for the bus one time because, again, me, not one of God's faves. I've been cursed with bad back and bad taste. Yes, yes, okay. This looks kind of nice, and it has a bit of a texture to it. Interesting.
<laughs> What's a dream drawfee episode you'd want everyone to do? I don't know. I have fun doing drawfee no matter what it is. I'd be down to do more, uh, host more things that I, I know. <laughs> AKA another Digimon or Yu-Gi-Oh card or Neopets episode. I just hit my mic. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. It's just fun to be able to do Trophy. So I'm down for whatever. All episodes are dream episodes as long as they come out good. <laughs> um, let's catch a little light on this. Why not? Sure. Is considered. This came out nice. Good work, team. What's a popular franchise you know nothing about, like Julia's Pogiphobia? I know nothing about most things. When I say I don't consume media, that's in earnest. There's so many things I haven't watched, like name a popular movie that's like not obviously one that I've seen, and I probably haven't watched it. I don't know shit about uh, what, what's uh, Stranger Things or Game of Thrones or Pirates of the Car Car Caribbean. Never seen it. I don't know a lot of things. Like you'd be, you'd be surprised. Um, Avengers, okay, obviously that one, yes, fine. There Will Be Blood, never seen it. Ice Age 2, never seen it. Beetlejuice, I've probably seen it, but I don't remember it at all. Have I watched Lord of the Rings? I've never seen a Lord of the Rings movie. I think I've watched the ending, the one where they're all, like, having a slumber party and Gandalf is laughing in slow motion. I watched that once on a bus, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> The Dark Knight. Okay, I have seen The Dark Knight. I haven't watched it in a long time, but I, I did see it. I think I have it saved on my hard drive because I downloaded a bunch of movies when that was like a big thing that was really easy to do on Tumblr where people just like posted a bunch of download links for an actor's cinematography. And I downloaded a bunch and didn't watch most of them, so... <laughs> Uh, any advice for someone who's frustrated with their art st style? I feel like mine is too much blocky color, but I don't know how to get the painterly look that I enjoy. Um, uh, I mean, I say this so much and I feel like I hope this is a decent answer because I feel like I'm always repeating myself. I feel like it's just a matter of experimenting because um, for me, poisonally, um, I kind of got to where I am or not necessarily where I am today with my art style but like one big thing for me is as I mentioned earlier um well it all the information from the stream comes together I went to art high school and one of the rules was that at least for your foundation years and stuff you weren't allowed to draw like cartoons or anime and it was one of those things, but it had a lot more to do with not using it as like a stylistic crutch. Um, it was more to just make sure you were trying different things. So to follow the rules, I started drawing a lot of realism type, bleh, sorry, my mouse sticks, uh, realism type stuff. And um, 
I wasn't very good at it, but because I was doing that, my like anime art style started to change a lot because of what I was learning about how to draw faces in my experimenting uh, with something completely different. So um, it's, it's stuff like that. So if you feel like you uh, have, you're trying to like be less blocky and more painterly, uh, just keep experimenting with how you do painting and stuff and maybe do some studies of styles you like and just try different methods. And if they don't work, then sure, it's not going to be super satisfying as you're doing it, but you're still going to learn as um, as you try new things and, you know, branch out into different styles. It's still going to stick with you. So, you know... Developing a style is hard and it's a process and it never super ends because I feel like with me, this painterly stuff is something I was doing to kind of break up a bit of monotony, but also because I like working in this style, I find it really relaxing to do. But, you know, for me, this is a lot of experimenting and the painterly stuff I did, you know, at the start of the year, like in January or February already looks super different than this. So, you know, and I look back at the stuff I did at the start of the year and I'm like, kind of looks like Garbo, but, you know, that's, that's art, that's improvement. <laughs> um, uh, the art teacher at my high school had posters that said no anime. Like, um, it's annoying when art teachers are real shitty about students drawing anime, but I'm grateful that at least in my case, it had less to do with, um, you know, them disliking the anime style. Like maybe they didn't like it anyway, but it definitely just had a lot more to do with like, you're a student, learn. So I do kind of appreciate them putting me in that position. I'm not going to complain. Should I give you a rim light? No. No, you don't. I already made it so that you can't have one. Because by the time I was a senior in high school and I had kind of proven like, hey, this is my art. This is what I do. I was just allowed to do fucking whatever I wanted <laughs> as long as it could be hung in a gallery. <laughs> I have to begrudgingly admit my art teachers no anime rules and writing teachers no fantasy sci-fi rules actually helped me grow as a creator. Like, there are teachers out there who are really shitty about it and they're, they'll really r ruin a kid's life over their need for no anime. That much is true. But sometimes it works out and they were right. So I hope, I hope most people have the latter experience because it's nice. It's nice when it works out. Now let's add the best part. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, yes. What time is it? 4.30 already? Wow. Why did I do the teeth like this, actually? <laughs> Why did I just m rub some dirt on his teeth? Good job, Karina. No. No. Um. 
Nope. I always feel out of place when I'm talking about experience with art in school because I'm just now getting fully into trying art and I'm already 22. No, I'm not old, but I feel left behind. It's never too late. I was in school with people in their 40s. Any time is a good time. Okay, I love the way that doesn't touch. Also, I missed uh, Tishek Smile. Thank you for subbing. bright ass red How am I today? I'm I'm totally fine. I have back pain, but nah, it's all good. <laughs> my favorite piece that I did on Drawfee. Um, hmm. Either the background or the Kaiba one. Just because those I had a good time doing and I thought that they were different and a challenge. <laughs> Have I saved? Okay, everyone, save your file. I know the file name is Untitled Artwork 2, but it is it is saved. <laughs> I just don't title my artwork sometimes because I'm a menace. Ah. Does it ever feel weird to talk to a bunch of complete strangers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's fun, too. Y'all are nice. Most people I interact with online are nice, so I do enjoy it. Do 
Yeah. Dravi community. Good folks. Rare is the occasion when someone pisses me off. <laughs> We're not in the toxic fandom list. <laughs> That's it. We made it. <laughs> it's already four forty. Uh, as per usual, I didn't really finish this piece, but I did do more than just flatting it, so that's good. <laughs> You made a toxic fandom page for Drawfee forever ago. I haven't looked at the toxic fandom wiki in so long. <laughs> I know if I look, I'll just end up on it for hours. <laughs> Thinking about life. Really like this shade of pink. Thank you. So do I. question is, if after I finish this stream, am I just going to throw this back into Procreate and smooth everything out like the asshole I am? Oh, great. It's not even alpha locked. Good job. <laughs> Did I have a favorite assignment in high school? Hmm. <laughs> like art or in general? <laughs> Do I even remember my individual assignments in high school? No. Tech. Was it supposed to do that? Um. Well, as I try to remember, Al uh, Alpha Luck is, um, so, say, for example, that's my background, the, the, the Schmidt, um, if I have Alpha Luck on like I do on this, I can just c color directly and wherever there is pixels, I can color, but if there are no pixels, it doesn't go out of the lines. So, yeah. It's just because I have a weird workflow when I do this stuff and my layers get really disorganized. Everything is alpha locked, so nothing touches weird. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything I did in high school. I think the most fun I had with my art in high school was when I was like a junior and a senior, at which point there weren't a lot of rules. There's one project that I just remember being very funny, um, but <laughs> it's, it's a long story. 
I did a lot of weird art in high school and some of them are just maybe the assignment wasn't my favorite thing but just the things that happened as a result of the things <laughs> are you gonna show us the finished artwork i mean i'll probably post it on twitter in some form story time um so i did fucking everything in high school including performance art. I've done two performance art pieces. One of them I did by myself and I hated it and I don't want to talk about it. I don't even remember what it even was about or was. I think I basically put on a puppet show and it was just really weird, but I ha I was required to do it for a grade, so. But the other one was part of this week-long like master class thing <laughs> that we had to do. And um we had to take a theme, like a, we were assigned a theme and we had to make a piece about it as a group. So the group was me um, and one of my good friends and then some other classmates. And we were all pretty tight in the art program, at least as far as I was concerned. So no, you know, no, no weird stuff with that. It was, it was a pretty chill project. And, um, our theme was, uh, I don't remember exactly, but it was like transformation, like metamorphosis or something. So um, our performance piece was that we threw a funeral for um, some guy. And I don't remember his name. It, his name might have actually been Schmitty. Um, but when we brought everyone into the room to like have them attend this funeral we would like discreetly hand them a little note card and it would say like some way that schmitty had <laughs> wronged them in their life like oh he you know um stole your he would he stole your car or he sneezed on your baby or he stole all your clothes and kept the and donated them and kept the tax write off for himself stuff like that so we were just handing these out and the idea was is that because it's a funeral we have to speak highly of him <laughs> like <laughs> because you know the guy is dead and we want him to be remembered like <laughs> in a good light so um each card would be like, oh, he did this, but maybe now's not the time to talk about that because it's his funeral. So that was the performance piece. We threw a funeral. But of course, my teacher immediately said what was on his card. So then everyone was saying what was on their card. <laughs> and um, and it was just it was a very funny performance piece. It was very silly. But the extra bonus kicker of this is we built or not built but you know we arranged the room to look like a funeral and part of that is that we wanted there to be a picture <laughs> and you know of, of the of, of schmitty and so we were just like we need a picture that we can pretend is like this guy's funeral picture or whatever and um the picture that we ended up using was my brother's high school graduation photo because it was like already in a frame. <laughs> so we're like, okay, we'll just use this. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so it was, it was my brother's funeral, but not really. He was Schmitty and, um, and it, it just got to the point where people were like, you know, oh, the, the theme was broken, like, they didn't do the thing where, like, because it was supposed to be he transforms into a good man in death because no one's going to bring up all of these horrible things that he did in his life now that he's he's dead. And since that kind of was hecked up by my teacher, everyone just started roasting him. And the 
teacher who was like visiting who was running this course just started roasting my brother's picture <laughs> he was just like schmitty looks uh i was just like can't you guys say something nice about this man he is dead and the guest teacher was like he looks like an excellent republican <laughs> and i was like damn that's my brother <laughs> that's my brother's graduation photo you're roasting <laughs> i really i really did that to him <laughs> So it was good times. <laughs> um, it was a failed performance piece because people didn't follow the rules that we wanted them to follow. So the theme didn't really happen, but it was still really funny. But yeah, and me and my uh, friend were the ones like running the funeral where the other people in our group were like plants in the audience playing characters so we had to like keep a straight face the whole time and like <laughs> bully people into being nice um yeah that was fun <laughs> i think about that one a lot <laughs> do i still have the puppets from your performance art no they weren't really puppets they were just like drawings on a stick more than anything and long gone i'm pretty sure that one i that one i didn't have fun with because i was alone <laughs> i was alone and no one made it fun <laughs> okay so this is the white um i don't know what else <laughs> I have a lot of like good silly stories from high school. I had a pretty decent high school experience. So I'm just going to start slapping adjustment layers on this until I figure out what else I want to do. Do I want to give you some, do I want to make you, you pop creamy? Uh. <laughs> How much longer? I got 10 minutes. <laughs> I never heard of someone enjoying high school who wasn't straight. Good for you. I'm a rare case. That was okay. Well, most of my teachers liked me. I was still kind of a kind of a nerd, so I was I was pulling decent grades. I had connections. <laughs> and I was able to do things I liked because I was even then super all about art and it's what I wanted to do so luckily I was able to so that was real cool actually that looks stupid I, I think I have just enough time to share my other like big high school art shenanigan story if anyone else would like to hear more story time this was one I was saving for the Drawfee animated story time segments we started doing but um, had to stop and haven't quite gotten back to yet so this is a story about the time my art was stolen literally in real life <laughs> So um, this and the other performance piece I did, the weird puppet show that I'm not going to talk about just because I don't remember it at all, were part of um, like a new media art class. So um, uh, just smudging, just smudging highlighter on your cheek. Sorry. Um, God. So another thing that we did for that class was installation pieces, which I ended up getting like really interested in doing because I thought they were super fun. And for those, we would write a proposal and then we could hang the art like anywhere in the school as long as it got approved by administration. So I had this idea <laughs> um, that 
went wacky. So my, uh, my thing I wanted to do is that, um, I don't know how many people know about my, whatchamacallit, uh, kind of mascot character. It's the little cat with the little hair and stuff. Um, I was making pieces about him in high school because uh, he has a bit of a story to him, but it's it's weird. So um, I'm just going to delete this because it looks fucking dumb. And so one of the pieces that I proposed and got approved for is I was going to make a floating sculpture where I made the plush cat and then I would have him being lifted up by helium balloons and then um you know over time the helium balloons lose the helium and he just floats back to the ground and it's like the inevitability of trying to like I don't know leave or something (laughs) and um so that was gonna be my piece and um since I was a senior at the time I was uh um, I, it happened to line up the week I was doing this piece with the week that I was doing my senior show, which is where we would install an entire gallery show in our school's gallery. And, um, that would take up a full day. And it was just, it was just a really busy week for me. So, um, uh, yeah, so, and I was, and at the time, I was part of various, like, uh, scholarly type bullshit, so I also had to go to Austin the day before we were putting up the show for some ceremony, and then come back, <laughs> like, in a day, and it was just a whole ass thing, so, um, I was just very tired that week and I came back from Austin and I attended like the second half of the school day. And then after school, I put up the balloon piece, which involved blowing up all the balloons and putting it in the right space and um, tethering it to like the railings around the area where I was hanging it so that it was, you know, not just bouncing around freely, but I got it up. I got, I got like, my cute ass little cat balloon thing up and floating and it looked really nice. So I took all the pictures to document it and I was like, okay, I got to go home and prepare for the show tomorrow. Cause I was also hosting the after party for the show. Um, uh, which side note is where the, uh, cream incident happened. So for those wondering why that guy was at my house, it was cause it was the after show to my bullshit. So, um, during the day where we put up the show, we're in the school gallery all day. It was three of us running this show. And <laughs> yeah. And, um, God. Yeah, there were three of us and we have to cover the windows to the gallery so we can't see outside. So I walk into school. I see that the helium has already basically completely gone away from the balloon. So it's just sagging completely. And I'm like, well, at least I got the documentation for my grade. So um, <laughs> I all good. You know, I'll, I'll take it down eventually, but it'll just hang there looking like shit for a while. That's life. And um, and then I went into the gallery for like the full day just to like start putting my piece up and stuff or putting my pieces up and all of us putting the gallery up and um yeah and all was going fine and well until lunchtime where I step out of the gallery for like the first time and the first thing I see in the hallway are just deflated balloons bouncing along the floor and I was just like interesting so and to reiterate, I was very tired. <laughs> so um, I was just like, oh, God. Well, and so I start walking over to the area where my piece was hanging. And um, and I notice my teacher, who taught the class I did the piece for, f- uh, walking towards me looking very angry. And he was like, Karina, someone stole your piece. And I was like, what? no way and um (laughs) 
And I was just like, oh, that's crazy. Because I didn't know how to react to that happening. It just kind of happened. And um, and he's just like, I'm about to go to a faculty meeting, so I'm going to complain to the vice principal. And I was just like, oh, oh, shit. Okay. And so he did. Like, he just storms off. And I'm just like, well, okay. So... I go up to where my friends and I would eat lunch because we didn't have a cafeteria, so we would just eat in the bio lab, <laughs> which maybe in hindsight was kind of weird, but whatever. And I walk in, and all my friends are already, like, powwowing because I was kind of late, and they're just like, Karina, your piece got stolen. And everyone was angry, except for me. <laughs> I was just, like, so tired that I was just like, yeah, so weird. And people were just like, uh, someone's gonna, <laughs> like, someone's gonna get punished for this this is so like <laughs> so fucked up and I was just like I I guess I don't know and <laughs> so uh yeah everyone was mad and um yeah everyone was really angry for me which was like really you know bless my friends but I was not mad just because I was so tired and um uh I'm just going to I'm just going to pause on this Schmidt face. Um, so I continue going down to like cl uh, put up the gallery with my friends. And <laughs> at some point um, I get brought to the main office and they're like showing me the security footage of someone cutting my piece down and being like, these are who took your piece. Do you recognize them? And I'm like, I can't tell. I, I can't see their faces. It was really surreal. <laughs> and then later in the day, and I should mention that the vice principal, we had two. One was really nice and one was like the me, like the bad cop vice principal. So it was this guy. He shows up to the gallery. Like we get a knock on the door because all the things are open uh, or, or the windows are covered. And uh, so we get a knock on the door and I go answer. And there he is, the vice principal, carrying... My, my cat, his name's Onion, by the way. He's carrying Onion like a little baby. And um, he's like, we got him. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. So I take him back and I notice that there's like Sharpie written on parts of him. And I was like, oh, weird. They wrote on him just as an observation. And the vice principal's like, they what? <laughs> and he just leaves. <laughs> he like runs off. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So, um, <laughs> um, so we just put him on a pedestal in the gallery and it becomes like this whole thing. Cause like everyone found out that he was stolen. It was kind of like a very small scandal <laughs> that my piece was stolen. So people would come visit him in, in the gallery <laughs> and, it turns out he was stolen by some theater freshmen who just like didn't know any better. So they just cut him down. And, um, <laughs> and so, you know, it was, it was, it was fine. It was all good. Um, I wasn't too upset about the whole thing. Basically everyone around me was way more upset than I was. It was a fun time. And, um, the following week, I got brought into the office again because they were making the freshmen who got suspended once they were caught. They got suspended for like two days. And then once they were back in school, the principal like made them apologize to me. And um, <laughs> and it was really uncomfortable because one of them was like openly crying and they wrote me an apology letter. And so I brought the apology letter to the class that I did um, the piece for, and I read it with the teacher. And the apology letter was like, sorry, we thought that the it was like for someone's birthday. We thought it was like birthday art and that it had passed. Uh, so we cut it down because we figured no one wanted it. <laughs> And um, and me and my teacher laughed at them. And then the last piece that I ever did in high school for this class was an, a final installation piece where I made a second plush cat and I 
tied him to the ceiling using like a thousand feet of yarn. And if you could figure out which strings to cut in order to make him fall down, you could just keep him. So you just steal the piece. That was the piece. (laughs) And remember earlier in the stream, I said that some random person pronounced my name Kareem Farik at my graduation. That's because I got nominated for some citizenship award because of how well I handled the situation. So that's my high school legacy. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my that's my story about my installation pieces and the saga that ensued. Good times. <laughs> Yeah, the vice principal nominated me for citizenship award because of how well I handled that apology session because I was very cool about it because I wasn't super angry in the first place. Um, But yeah, (laughs) it was a time. (laughs) But yeah, that's my story. Um, It's 5.03, so that's my whole last stream. Um, Here's what we accomplished today. We got... This came out nice. This came out okay. I'll I'll keep tooling around with it. <laughs> but uh, thank you everyone for hanging out with me and listening to my many high school stories. I have so many and they kind of bring me a lot of joy to recall. So it was nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm going to head out and figure out what to do otherwise with this but yeah thank you everyone for coming um keep an eye out for any other bonus streams you never know i never know i don't know but otherwise we do stream every monday night uh 7 p.m eastern time new york time so every week that and we just put out an episode like 40 minutes before the stream started or something. So if you haven't watched that, you should probably go watch that because it's kind of a good one. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a log off. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. (laughs) See ya sometime. Uh, Thank you guys. Bye. Oh wait, Dr. Shankenstein and T-Shack smile. Thank you for subbing. Goodbye. (laughs) 